Hello and welcome to this Optics Street debate. Uh, today, Andras and myself, Theodor, we will discuss a little bit a really complex term called light transmission rate. Uh, as we know, there is a whole science behind it. And on the other side, this um, term, light transmission rate, is one of the most manipulated term in our industry, in, in, the, in the industry of sport optics. So, Andras, I think you went through this topic a little bit to find all the questions. I did. Uh, I will try to answer everything of my, um, the best way I can. And let's hope that we do a short video, another two hour <laughs> lecture about light transmission rate. <laughs> yes, of course. So, yeah, so um, on our website, you can find, for example, some obsolete pieces of information like relative brightness and um, Twilight factor, twilight factor. Instance, yeah. but when it comes to light transmission rate, this is a really important piece of information mm -hmm. nowadays. And let's start by telling our um, the viewers of this video what light transmission rate is. Well, light transmission rate is a percentage of light that uh, goes through an optical instrument. That means uh, if you have 100 units of light going in into the objective. Uh, part of the instrument or let's say the microscope, how many of this 100 units of light will come out on the IP site and go into your eye. So it basically tells you how good the optics is. And um, we say that everything above 80% of light transmission rate is already very, very decent. Everything about 90 is already exceptional. And only the best optics gives you 95, 94% of light transmission rate. Um, so light transmission rate is basically the percentage of, of, of light that is possible to go through the optical instrument without all the losses. How do we measure uh, light transmission rate? I know that many times, not, only rare manufacturers give and say uh, this optical device has this and this amount of light transmission rate. Well, is it possible to measure it? It's possible, normally, and I think also that the, the most fair thing would be that everybody would do it from the producers of optics. Now with light transmission rate, I, I talked about percentage before, but I intentionally left out the question of uh, wavelength of light, because you don't have the same light transmission rate in every length, wavelength. So every time when you see in a catalog, and they give you a number of, let's say, 95% of light transmission rate. This is so popular lately. Our optics has 95% light transmission rate. They are talking about maximum value at one specific wavelength of light, usually. If this is an integral, so all the light that goes in at all light transmission, uh, at all uh, wavelengths, if this would be an integral average, of 95% is then it would be great but majority of all manufacturers they just give you the maximum point which they achieved in reality however the most true measurement is the measurement where where uh, they measure light transmission rate at each specific wavelength separately so individually so you have at each wavelength you have a value of light transmission so what rate. you get is a graph you get a graph yeah. Yeah. You get a, a chart which shows you at each wavelength how much of light transmission rate goes through. Uh, at the bottom of this video you can see this graph. And this is the only realistic measurement that shows you how much of light goes through the optics in reality. Not that some manufacturers just give you the the maximum value of some of them give you the average and so on but only the chart gives you the accurate and realistic information of light transmission rate of, uh, of even given any given optical uh, instrument and it's measured like this that they measure at each wavelength the amount of light going in and the amount of light going out and then they calculate the percent at each and every wavelength or in the visible spectrum, normally from in the wavelength spectrum where the eye is sensible and able to see light. Now I know that uh, light transmission rate is connected to the coatings uh, within mm -hmm. the rifloscope. Uh, what, what else is light transmission rate dependent on? This is a very, very, I would say, um, broad 
broad and a lima because there are so many factors. I will just mention a couple of them which are the most important. Glass quality, coatings, the quality of coatings and the technology in the coatings, the general optical construction, the number of lenses inside and the type of prism in binoculars. So basically, high quality glass, really high quality and technically superb coatings, uh, superb optical construction as a, as a whole of the mm -hmm. device, uh, the number of lenses, because the, the smaller number of lenses, the better light transmission rate. This is uh, the reason why sometimes fixed power rifle scopes are brighter than variable, because variable, uh, variable magnification rifle scopes have plenty of additional lenses in their construction and each lens uh, takes, loses away some, some, yeah, takes away some light um, and this is especially a big problem it was at least in the past from uh, super zoom scopes everything what had a zoom of six and above or now now we have eight times zoom and ten times zoom it usually meant that the higher the zoom the the more darker uh, the image um, and to think where I, st uh, where I left, the prism type. Yeah, the um, Yeah, we know that uh, schmidt pechan prism doesn't uh, have an equal light transmission rate like Abe Koenig or Poro. Poro still has the best light transmission rate than Abe Koenig and then a little bit lower Schmidt and Pechan. So these are the main factors, but there are many others also. But I would say glass, coatings, the optical construction, number of lenses and prism type these are the main factors which uh, govern the amount of light that's coming through so the light transmission rate so we can conclude that when it comes to relative brightness and twilight factor you can uh, dismiss you can, them you can yeah. dismiss them but when it comes to light transmission rate you really have to pay a lot of attention to because it on the it is the because of the light transmission rate it, um, it influences many factors such as how bright the image will be. Yeah, it's, it's Even really, really important because also if you have a chart of light transmission rate which is really uneven, that means that at one sector of the light transmission rate, uh, at one sector of the visible spectrum, you have a better light transmission rate than the other, you will see tint. Oh, yes. Because yeah. if, if the binoculars uh, have a higher light transmission rate for blue, than they have for red, you have a, you will see a bluish tint on the image. So it should be ideal. It would be that the whole uh, light transmission rate in the whole spectrum of visible light should be very similar. Because because if it isn't very similar, you will get a tint. So if it of, really stands out, uh, you will mm -hmm. get a bigger tint. Yeah. If yeah. One point is really. Yeah. This you see in the chart. The problem is at the moment that majority of manufacturers just give you a number. They don't give you a chart. They don't wish. To, to, to show the true light transmission rate of their optics. So they just hide behind one number. And this is the first problem is that an integral average, well, the average is sometimes not uh, the value that would really truly represent the light transmission rate. Uh, this is the first problem. And then the second problem is that uh, some manufacturers even cheat a little bit and they give you just the maximum number. So, you know, they say, okay, in one point we achieved 95 degrees, 95% uh, of light transmission rate, which some renowned European manufacturers really do achieve. Let's say the Schmidt and Bender, the Polar series, the Zeiss Victory HT, and so on. They are achieving 95% average almost, but majority of others they just achieve 95% in one point yes. and only only the maximum value at, at one specific wavelength. So it's probably a marketing move, so to yeah. say. Yeah. I'm, I'm still waiting for the time when every producer will uh, uh, disclose a true chart of light transmission rate for their each device because then there will be some, uh, it will be easier to compare at least in one, in one term in light transmission rate all the optics between themselves. So it, this, it would really help the customers? Normally. Yeah. Normally, but yeah. probably the, the producers, producers themselves wouldn't like it as much. Some. It's also true that the majority of customers don't really know <clears throat> what a, such a set of data represents. So maybe a door would open to even more manipulation and so on. So it's not a clear cut because you have to understand the basics of light 
the physics of light and so on to, to know how to read the chart of light transmission rate. So, but still, I think it would be a, a good step forward. A great addition, probably. Yeah, definitely. I ran out of questions, Theodor. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Andras. So, I hope that uh, the issue of what light transmission rate is and how it's measured and so on is a little bit clearer than it was before. I do believe that there will be many additional questions. Uh, we'll be glad to answer them in comments or send us an email. And normally, please subscribe.